Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a Christmas women's gift guide and pretty much everything is gonna be under $50 except for the last few items. And then I also have some stocking stuffers for y'all that'll be under $25. And I'm going to try to insert a picture if I don't have the actual item on hand, but I want to get through these really quickly for y'all. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so I have a really good variety of things for you guys, but I'm going to start with kind of like the home stuff. So first thing uh, is this diffuser right here. Um, I really love it. It's really big. The reservoir is, I think it's like four or 600 mil, something like that. And it lasts a really long time and it is really easy to fill and just push go. You don't have to worry about... Um, the regular reservoir, then the lid, and then the cover. So I really like this one. Recommend that as a nice gift. Um, and then to go along with that, we have something like this trio that you can get from Revive Essential Oils. This is Christmas tree, Christmas morning, and holiday heaven. Of course, you can get any kind of essential oil kit that you know you or your person likes. Um, but I do really like that set. They do have a bunch of different kits. So I would just say if you're gonna do the diffuser, maybe you could do one oil, or if you're just gonna do oils, then go ahead and go for a set. Um, and then also <clears throat> something like this cookbook, if your um, mom, sister, lady, if she likes to cook, this one has some really good traditional top recipes. It's called Nourishing Traditions. Um, but there's obviously all kinds of really good cookbooks that you can find on Amazon to kind of suit her taste. Um, so moving into uh, more like journaling stuff. Um, this is my journaling Bible. I love it. It is called the Artisan Collection from Zondervan, I believe. And this is the NIV. Um, the reason I picked this one over a bajillion different option uh, is because it's got like defined lines and I'm more of a note taker. I'm not, I don't really draw in here. It's definitely note taking for me. And the pages were thick enough to where it doesn't quite bleed through. Like you can kind of see a shadow, but it's not um, anything crazy. Uh, and then also I really liked the detailing on the pages and it had this pretty, you know, design on the cover. Um, and then to go along with that, you could do some markers. I'm just giving this little pouch, but I got them off of Amazon and I believe they're, I don't know, I'll, I'll try to link them. But either way, just, just some good um, marker pen type things for journaling. Um, mine are dual ended, so you have like the marker on one side and then you have like the pen on the other side. So I really like those for journaling and you always want some good colors. So we like our, you know, accessories and stuff. Um, so next thing is a little wristlet, something like this that holds your cards and you know, stuff like that. It's just easy to kind of take with you. It doesn't have to be any kind of particular brand, but you know, and then also something like this cardigan. Darius was just cuddled up in it, so let me just fix it. You can kind of see how large it is. I love something like this as a gift um, because number one, it's cozy and soft, um, but when you get, you know, something like this, it can go with a lot of different outfits and we do like neutrals a lot of the time that will just like go with everything. So this is a really good option. You can pick one up like that pretty much any store thrift stores, whatever, but I got this particular one at TJ Maxx. Um, I would probably spring for a longer one than a cropped or shorter one. Um, because again, we just want to be cozy. You know, it's cold and sort of cold. You get what I'm saying. Okay. So going along with that, sort of kind of clothing, um, I would go for some pocket leggings for your lady. I know I sound a country when I said that but something like um, the Fabletics. These ones are really good. Um, they have a zipper pocket on the side and then they also have this like stretchy mesh pocket, but any kind of pocket legging, honestly, um, the reason I'm just saying Fabletics is because I have these and they're high-waisted and they stay really well. Um, and they have like that two for 24 when you first sign up or whatever. 
but you can find pocket leggings pretty much everywhere. Actually, I wanted to share that today because Dick Sporting Goods is having a sale on their um, their brand of like active wear for women. So I believe they had some pocket leggings on sale. Pocket leggings can't go wrong. Um, and then something like this, uh, obviously I'm a Lama beauty guide, but uh, if you're gonna go for an eyeshadow palette, Tarte is having a 50% off sale today. So something like this eyeshadow palette, if, you're, if your lady likes um, makeup, eyeshadow, you know, that kind of thing, these are good options and I'll, they are on a good sale. You don't get a ton of product in here, but you do get several different colors. This one is called the Man Eater Palette, and then they have another one that's really popular called the Tartlet in Bloom. Um, that one's like a really neutral uh, palette. So if you are a girl and you want your man to get you something like that, go ahead and share them, share the video with them or tag them or something so they know what to look for. Uh, the next thing is the Lollipop Littles collection. It is a cute little, um, basically like a lip and eye uh, kit. And it comes with four products. So you can get a mascara that's half size, a lip gloss that's half size, an eyeliner that's half size. And this is a really good gel waterproof liner. And then you also get a liquid lipstick that's half size. Um, I believe it comes, there, there's some different shades, but. Um, it's very similar to this, but it's a liquid matte lipstick. So it would be similar to like this size. And it's a really good deal for all those products. And it's a good little, you know, array basically that you can kind of get experience with all those different products in, in one kit. Um, so also we have something that I'm sure a lot of people have talked about, but an iPad, not, you don't have to get anything fancy, especially depending on what they do with it. But I actually really like uh, just the regular standard iPad, not the Pro, not the Air, anything like that. But I do love my Apple Pencil with it. Um, so this is mine. <laughs> I like this little pencil for taking notes. Um, it works really good, even if you wanna go with like last year's um, version, still really good. Um, and then also AirPods, um, if you're an Apple person, even if you're not, maybe just some like wireless um, earbuds. I thought that I would lose them, but honestly, I haven't. It's been pretty easy to keep up with them and they charge really, really quickly. So that's really nice. Um, and then the last thing I wanna talk about, actually the last two things, first of all, um, the Chosen, if you haven't seen that yet, it is a beautiful depiction of um, basically the Gospels and kind of characterizing the disciples and getting to see Jesus in his ministry. So I would recommend maybe purchasing those DVDs or, you know, maybe just if you don't want to purchase them, then go ahead and get the, um, the app downloaded on your phone and share it with everybody just as a fun like Christmas Thing. I don't know, but if you have older people in your life, like oh, a uh, grandma or something, um, I thought that would be really nice to just buy the DVDs for them because that's a little bit easier sometimes for some uh, than you know trying to stream it. So, um, last thing is something called the Simply Pretty Collection. Um, I will go ahead and link that again below in the description box. But it's basically what I'm wearing on my face right now. Um, it's foundation, a lipstick your eyeshadow and a bronzer or a blush or a setting powder and you can kind of pick you know, obviously your shade you can pick if you want you know a bronzer a different shade of a different shade of bronzer different shade of blush whatever and then also you can get waterproof or the regular mascara i'm personally wearing the regular mascara today but um yeah that's it's a really good deal it's 78 bucks today so i wanted to um share this today for that reason. And it's a full face. Like that's literally everything I'm wearing today. I didn't uh, put a blush on. I just went ahead and went in with my bronzer so you can see it right here. And then I didn't set my foundation because I never do. So if you're more of a, a dry skin type, this will be perfect for you. And you don't have to go, you know, with this kind of lip color. Uh, my favorite neutral is someone called Not Telling. And it is beautiful. It's 
it's just so pretty. But I decided to do something a little bit more, you know, Christmas themed because I got my little Christmas uh, son of a nutcracker from Elf on. So I just wanted to go with something a little bit more festive. But yeah, that's that's the last thing for our actual Christmas gift. So I hope that was a good variety for you, gave you some ideas. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you some stocking stuffers as well. So first, <laughs> just because it's kind of random, um, get her a pocket knife or something, you know, handy dandy like this. Um, I just like to know that I have some kind of something with me, just like, you never know. So pocket knife, good to have. Um, also something called a tangle teaser. It's this, um, it's a tangle teasing brush basically. So it gets rid of your tangles really well. Um, this one's like Hello Kitty print. I really like Hello Kitty. Don't judge me. Um, but this one works really well. I have a, I've tried a lot of brushes and this is just my favorite. And I also like that it like fits in the palm of your hand and it's really easy to keep clean too. So also I have, <laughs> I do like Hello Kitty. So I have this little spa headband that I picked up from TJ Maxx. I think it was like $4 or something. But you just, you know, put it on and it keeps your hair back when you wash your face. And if you want to use it while you're putting your makeup on, cool. Pretty good. Pretty good job. Um, I used it this morning whenever I was putting my makeup on. So, yeah. I love those. And then scrunchies. You can always get some scrunchies or some hair ties. Like if you don't, if your lady doesn't like scrunchies, uh, maybe do the little, what are they called, telly ties. Or maybe the, um... I think they were called MEJs is what we called them. The little fabric ones. Um, <clears throat> and then next, I have some jewelry. So this is actually aromatherapy bracelets or diffuser bracelets. So you can put your essential oils on them and then like smell them throughout the day. And I will link where um, I got these from below. My friend actually makes them. They're beautiful and they hold, um, you know, whatever scent you want on them. So mine still smell like peppermint glow <laughs> but I also really love to put stress away on them or the revive version of stress away but basically um the little like lava beads or the wooden beads hold the scent but she you know makes them cute so all kinds of different little designs I really like those and then also these earrings so these are clay earrings my sister actually makes these I will link her Etsy shop below I love them. She has all kinds of cute designs and she, you know, hand makes every single one and they're all different. I love them. So these, um, I don't know. I'm supposed to pick one that's like modeled after me. I'm, I was going to pick these, but I think somebody else may have beat me to it, but I really like them. They go with everything and they're different and they're kind of funky. Like she just has a bunch of different designs. So yeah. Um, and then also you can't go wrong with a fun t-shirt, you know, from like a show or something. I'm not talking like, oh, you gotta go buy comfort colors or, no, I just mean like maybe a character tee from their favorite show, maybe a Bama tee, you know, something like that. It's like five or $10, not hard to find. You could even go to the thrift store, but comfy tees are always fun and they're a good way to like let your personality show. Um, also, succulent, you know, mine's kind of dying, but um, something like this. I know you can't really put that directly in a stocking, but it is a tiny, cute little gift. And people seem to really be crazy about succulents right now. <clears throat> okay, so another one you can use as a stocking stuffer is just, you know, a single oil. Um, my favorite is pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend, highly recommend. I mean, also we've got coffee and maybe like a coffee syrup this is my favorite coffee um and then i like to use the salted caramel syrup sometimes but they also have like tarani white chocolate um there's all kinds so it's just you know if you want to make a little gift out of it you know maybe do like coffee syrup and a mug and that would be like a cute little dirty santa gift okay so obviously you can't go wrong with some lip products um I love our liquid lipsticks. This is peanut butter cup, beautiful. Um, and then also you can go with a lip gloss like this. Um, actually, they have a really cute holiday one. I will try to insert a picture, but they're red and just, oh, they're so cute. They're modeled after um, 
the Wizard of Oz, and they're just like this bright red and uh, um, silver top, not silver, diamondy, like like this, but it's red and it's oh, it's pretty. Um, and then also a lip scrub like this. This one's my favorite because. I got it in my maze box and it's really good. It really gets that like dead skin off before you put your lipstick on. Um, I love it. And it, it smells like, <sighs> smells like cake. Like I just, I don't know. You can see the uh, texture of that. So it's super nice. And it should last a really long time because you only need a teensy bit. Um, so also you could go with something like these blenders to stick in the stock, stocking. Mine is dirty, sorry. But um, this one is actually called a Blenderful. It is a Lime Life sponge. And the reason I prefer this one is because of this flat top. And then it still has the pointed opposite end. So I really like those. But if you just want to get like a multi-pack, you know, they have them everywhere. Um, <clears throat> some of my favorites would be like the Real Techniques one. Uh, maybe, I think Elf has a really good one. But that one's obviously going to last a bit longer. And it's a little high quality, but... If you're just looking for something cheap you could even go with some from tj maxx or something um so lastly we have a phone case um this is a loopy phone case i love it because it just like sits on your finger and some people want like the stands or like pop sockets or whatever so maybe like a pop socket or something like that but i do really like this one um you can obviously get some cheaper ones it's kind of like personal preference um I did forget one gift, so I'm gonna go back over that, but um, you cannot go wrong with skin polish or Mask of Zen, preferably skin polish, just, just for safety. But skin polish is a, um, and it's, it's an exfoliating mask, it's a treatment mask, so it hydrates your skin and it gets rid of all the dead skin. And oh, it's just so good. It smells like lemon cake and like lemon, not pie. It definitely smells like lemon cake to me, like a lemon pound cake or something. Oh gosh, I don't know. Lemon poppy seed. That's what it smells like. Lemon poppy seed cake to me. Oh, I love it so much. And it just, it just saves my skin. Um, and it's so like luxurious feeling. So if you are kind of like worried about getting skincare for your person, um, maybe don't go for like a cleanser and moisturizer just because you know you have to know their skin type. Whereas with skin polish, that is something that everybody can use despite their skin type. The only thing you need to watch out for is allergies. So if they're allergic to lemon, that's really the only issue that you would have. So I highly recommend this mask because it's an exfoliator, which is like a scrub, and then a mask in one. And that is perfect for winter skin. So if you want to spoil your mom or your sister or your wife or your girlfriend, or your bestie, go ahead. Um, I hope I've given you some really good ideas and I just really appreciate you guys being here with me. I hope y'all all have a fabulous experience shopping for Christmas and you just enjoy yourselves and you remember the reason for the season. So y'all have a great day and thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.